Hey, it's me again. I am going to do another reading, and um, it's going to come from the Trinity, and I don't really know what the message will be, but I do know that I need to start with Archangel Michael and see what he wants to say today. Innocence, go forward fearlessly, a favorable outcome, and honor and trust your feelings. Bottom of the deck is sense of humor. Yeah, it seems like it's it's like happening on a regular basis now, like whenever I start reading, I start yawning. It's like whenever I start channeling and I start tapping into my intuition, I start yawning. So <clears throat> I used to think like, oh, maybe it's, you know, a fluke, maybe it's one of those things, but no, it's happening. Like every time I do a reading and I tap into my intuition, that means that um, I start yawning. So that means that there's a lot of energy going on. Yeah. So it seems like, um, it's like the more I tap into my intuition and the more accurate I become, the more energy it takes away from me. And I don't really notice it until I start yawning. So I don't know, maybe that's a sign. But, um, <clears throat> It's about innocence. Go forward fearlessly. A favorable outcome. And honor and trust your face. So yeah, and your intuition. Trust your intuition. And um, yeah, it's something about innocence here. Okay. So it's going to be about innocence today. But what about it? What about innocence? So this is what Lady Isis has to say about that. Why innocence? Flower of life. Enter the chamber of healing. Stay true and be in your power. And healing of the divine masculine, Osiris rises. So bottom of the deck is not a basis. Energetic civilization with a buckle of the beloved. Okay. So what about innocence? Why is that important? So this is what she wants to say. Flower of life, 
divine creativity and manifestation. So when you put them together, why innocence? It's because it's the flower of life. It's your divine creativity and manifestation. And that's why you have to stay innocent so that you can be creative and you can manifest. Because both of those come from positive energy, but if you're not in a positive energy, then you can't manifest and you can't tap into your creativity either. All right, that's what I'm getting. So what happens when you're innocent and you know that innocence is what helps you tap into your creativity and manifestation. You're able to manifest and get creative when you're innocent, when you, when you are still innocent, you retain your sense of innocence, that childlike quality, that sense of odd wonder. Basically, you're not completely damaged. So you still have some hope left, some type of enthusiasm. Okay. Number 36, energy. Number 31, equanimity. Number 15, desires. And number 34, unconditional love. Part of the deck is gratitude, number 26. If you want to turn your life around, try thankfulness. It will change your life mightily by Gerald Good. Gratitude is a powerful kindness energy. When you expressed outwardly, wait. Let me read that. Gratitude is a powerful kindness energy. When expressed outward, outwardly by giving thanks for the richness it brought to you by the other people, their services and contribution, your gratitude builds a feeling of kinship that breaks down all illusions of separateness. Hmm. Interesting. So what happens when you're still innocent, you're still creative, and you're able to manifest? Mm. All right, this is what we need. Number 31, equanimity. I find hope in the dark, dark, I can't even talk, okay, let me read that. Equanimity. I find hope in the darkest of days and focus in the brightest. I do not judge the universe. By Dalai Lama. Equanimity embodies forging ahead with an unshakable courage to experience all circumstances that come your way and without judging them as good or bad, right or wrong, gain or loss, so that you will not be disturbed by your own negative emotions. Nothing can then spin you out of your calm center. Hmm. Okay. So when you put them together, innocence, and it's your innocence that is creative and manifests, and when you have both, you have equanimity. Interesting. And that's the truth. Okay. okay. So what does the tarot deck have to say about this? Queen of Cups. Ooh. 
Ooh, Empress. Temperance. Ten of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. Page of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Star. And Ten of Swords. So that would be like 10, 10, 10 with Ten of Pentacles. The wheel and ten of swords reversed so they would be um ten 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 but in this case um only two cards came out um in the reading so you have the wheel of fortune things going your way with number 10 and ten of swords reversed so there's a new beginning so yeah basically you can get your way because you will have a new beginning that you've always wanted. So you're no longer stuck in the past or at least you're able to break away from the past. Okay. So when you manifest something, things will go in your favor because you have clarity, you're guided, and you have a new beginning. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. One of the deck is Ten of Pentacles, Abundance and Legacy. Oh, you know what? Let me, um, okay. The card for the intuitions. So, I'm getting that, yeah, things will go in your favor. You've released your burdens. Your enemies will regret how they treated you. And you have some regrets too, but it's not your. It's not yours. Basically, just focus on the present and, you know, think about the future. What you will... It's like, don't think about what you didn't want or what you didn't get. That's the past. Think about what you do want and how can you make that happen, okay? That's manifesting. Um, yeah, this Page of Pentacles is manifesting something. And um, you know when something is worth it. You will come out of this a winner, victorious, successful. And you have clarity. You're peaceful. Intuitive, so you go fast, you're guided, you're healing, and even though, like, what I'm doing is that even though you make all this progress, right? But it's like somebody wants to come in and destroy that, like, they're angry. And this is why, like, you know, if you have somebody that doesn't stop and it keeps doing the same thing over and over, and you've already blocked them, you've already, like, made it clear that. You don't want them but they still keep doing it like they're not able to let go they're not able to just stop because they think oh if i try to get one more if i try to get this time maybe they, it's like they still have that hope the same way you had that hope of them you know being different only to be disappointed time and time again because every time it came back to them they would do something to mess it up so you need to do the same thing in a situation. Yeah. You need to let go. And once you let go, let them know that if you don't let me go, then you'll be dead. You're dead. Yep. And the ones that don't take you seriously or they think you're joking, they're about to find out that it's not a joke. So let me go back to this uh, 
reading. Uh, yeah, the Ten of Swords reversed is a new beginning. Um, you have supporters in the background, even though like you know you've been betrayed and all this negativity, negativity is going on right now by the enemy. But yeah, you have supporters. You have people that see that support you. Um, they may not say anything, but they support you. They're on your side. So this is what I'm getting. Like, somebody's wearing gold, someone's wearing red, and somebody's wearing white. So this could be like a family situation where um, one child was always favored, got away with murder, and the other one was treated like an outcast, like a criminal. So I'm getting. And yeah, you will have your wishes fulfilled. They will come true. <clears throat> so this is what you meant to hear at this time. Let me start out with these uh, reversals because, yeah, it's just too many, but whatever, just deal with it. So somebody sent in all that negative energy. It's like, it gets worse and worse, but yeah, whoever sent that negative energy to in, the, in, in another attempt to end me, <sighs> yeah, that's not really happening to me. That's happening to you. So just when you release your burdens, you go ahead and get more. And yeah, um, your enemies will regret what they lost and how they treated you when you were there. Um, yeah, somebody is manifesting what they want. Like you could be manifesting each other what I'm also getting is that, yeah, like, you could manifest an air sign child. So, Let me share um, the positive news first before somebody came in and just like ruined it. Okay. So you're able to fight through challenges. And if you need to block someone, you block them for good. Okay. And you're emotionally tuned. You're very creative and imaginative. So there could be someone out there that is like you. And the Queen of Wands is from her intuition. So my intuition, his intuition, and mine. Her match is a Key of Wands, an Aries. And she's a Leo, Queen of Wands, Scorpio. Okay. Right. 
So because you're able to fight off challenges your way, you're able to see the positivity in the situation. And your match is the Queen of Wands. So if you're the King of Wands, your match is the Queen of Wands and vice versa. Okay. That's what the intuition is going to say to you. Okay, oh, and oh my god. Alright. So this is what that's coming to you. Okay. Five of Swords reversed. You're lucky that this is reversed because I would have like I would have yelled out calling you a murderer and I would have made a fool of myself. So Ten of Swords but in your case, that's in the beginning. Three of hearts. Yeah, that's cute too. But you're healing. Five of wands is conflict, chaos. More conflict, more conflict, more conflict. Okay. So it's like they want to blame somebody for, for everything. And they might just be blaming the wrong person. Um, yeah, you can go really slow because you take your time, but you don't really need, you know, followers on, on Twitter because, I mean, yeah, you own that whole site. You have your own airline and... Yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles, you have no clarity, so you're always going to be wondering because you have no clarity at all. And the Ten of Wands is basically, yeah, releasing your burdens. And you're one of them. 